Welcome back to Obscure Mics, folks. It's me, it's Bark. And today I've got an interesting option from Moano, which is the Moano Caster Lite. I will show you everything here in just a moment. But just a little bit about this. It is basically a, I hate to call it an interface, but I guess it is an interface. It's a USB-C audio interface, more, you know, sound cardish, no XLRs. It's all 3.5 millimeter inputs all the way across the board. It runs $99 and is an option as an all in one good to go recording slash interview slash sound effect board. It's, it's kind of a, uh, there's the Moano caster, which is a direct hate to say copy, but an inspiration from the Rodecaster Pro. And then you've got the cheaper option of the Moano Caster Lite if you want less features and less options, but still some of those important things like the interview option, so to speak. This is the microphone that comes with it. I'll show you this real quick. It's an all plastic build. It's a small uh, capsule condenser, just very run of the mill cheap microphone plasticky doesn't sound terrible in my opinion but you'll see more about this mic when i go in detail with the moano caster light but let's go ahead show you the device show you some of the things that it does and then we will move on to if you can use another microphone with this thing, it comes with this. It uses 3.5. There is no phantom power, so I don't know what else you're going to be able to do microphone-wise. I don't know if you want to use these. Grab another one of these from Moano if you're doing a two-man podcast. But we'll find out some of the uh, third-party options, so to speak, after I show you a little bit about the device and go through some of the features. Be right back. Okay, so we have the Moano Caster Light here in the box in the studio for you and let's go ahead and open it and show you what all comes in this $99 package shipping label because I sold it <laughs> you get a user manual for the board you get a user manual for the microphone you get a foam windscreen you get a slab of foam I'm a pretty funny guy. And you get the Moano Caster Lite itself. You've got some sound pads with opening applause, gunshots. That's that's so 2021. Laughter, cheering, slapping. Slapping? Slapping what? Awkward. This is awkward. And booing. And then you got four customizable pads on this thing. You have a echo slider, which I'm not sure why in the hell anyone would use that, but you also have a monitor for the headphones, and if you want to run out to, you know, a set of monitors. You got your mic gain. I assume this works for both mics. I'll get to that more in a minute. Uh, you've got some EQ options on here, which is welcome in my opinion. I like that. You can adjust the low, mid, high, and recording which i believe that that does control the level going to your doll through your computer uh, if you see here we also have a battery indicator so if you push the power button on the back here that battery indicator is you got to press and hold it for a few seconds and it all lights up there you go battery indicator you got a Bluetooth indicator, which I do have this set up to connect to my phone. We will go into more detail about that shortly. You can mix the level of the music coming into your recording. There is an effects pad and a pitch pad, music only pad, where I believe you can cut out, you know, mute, mute your mic, a denoise button, a loop back button and a side chain button. I don't know if I'm going to go through every one of those. Uh, we'll find out. On the back of the Moano Caster Lite, we have a USB-C that goes uh, that you charge with and connect as an interface. Pod 1 output, Pod 2 output, Pod 3 output. 
basically this is all just connections to run to your smartphone or tablet to bring in guests. So the big selling point of this is to have multiple guests. So up to three, I guess. Uh, and I don't know if there's a mix minus through the USB-C yet or not. We have an output which can be used for headphones or studio monitors. A music input, which again, I think is the same thing as the pod output. You can run music or voice in, so there's four guests you can have. Not sure why you would use four devices to get those guests rather than having them all connect to a, an online place like a Zoom or Skype or something like that to get a four-way call. I would rather do that than run four separate devices in. You got a headset uh, jack, mic one and mic two. They are just typical aux jack connections, no XLR, which means no phantom power, which means you're going to be relegated to using the mic that comes with it or a dynamic, I assume. We will find out soon enough. But yeah, there you go, Moana Caster Lite. It has, it feels, it feels okay. It's all plastic, but it does have a little bit of tiny bit of, of weight to it and it does feel like solid plastic it doesn't feel super cheap so I don't really have any issue with the build quality so to speak just my biggest complaint without plugging it in is the mic inputs being those headphone jacks so let's get it wired up and see what we've got or not quite yet because I'm a goofball so let's check it what we're gonna plug into the Milano caster We've got a condenser microphone that comes with it. The body is plastic. It's small. If you can see my hand in uh, comparison to the mic that comes with it, it's a very small microphone. That's what she said. And we do have a tripod and a nice ring mount that comes with it. It's plastic, but it is a ring mount. Not bad. We'll see how this goes. Uh, you also have your USB-C cable and an audio cable to run in one of those guests, not all four. Check out that crooked finger. Story on that later. And we've got the XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. Now we will plug this thing up and see what we got. Okay, so we've got the Moano, Moano Caster Lite in front of us right here ready to rock and roll this is what the microphone sounds like so the the first thing i notice when testing this out is the the headphones the the sound coming through there has a weird doubling effect so even though i have no echo or anything going through the moano caster you know, it's, I still get an echo in my headphones. So that's a little bit strange, a little bit weird. Let's go ahead and play with the, uh, EQ first. I can turn the low end way up and I get a lot darker. And that actually just took a little bit of that echo away, but it's also clipping real bad. So let's go ahead and back that back off. We'll set it to kind of 12 o'clock, assuming that's where it should be. It doesn't have a number there, but I assume that's kind of equal because they were all set that way. You can adjust the mids as well and do this and get a little more mid-range out of it. And then you can tone that all the way back down or go way down here and get a real scoopy sound. And you can also mess with the highs and get a lot of treble out of this thing. Let's go ahead and turn that back. So there's the EQ. The echo, you can slide the echo up and get a whole lot echoier. And even though it's not that much more echoey in my headphones, you know, it's, I assume it works. I don't know. I'm going to turn the echo all the way back down. Uh, you, you know, you got the monitor switch. The, the sliders themselves feel pretty sturdy. They're not real loose. They're actually, there's a little bit of, uh, resistance there. So I have no issue there. The knobs are plastic. Let's go through some of the sounds. We'll do the opening. Sure. Let's go applause. gunshot because that's what everybody wants on their podcast is some gunshots <laughs> ah, i made a funny the laughter button and then 
You know, Obscure Mics is probably the best channel around, right? Okay, I was I was severely wrong there. This is awkward. Well, you know, I don't know who to slap, but I should slap someone. That's so goofy. Well, this was the test of the sound pads. What did everybody think? I mean, really, that's so goofy. So you got the sound, the uh, programmable sound pads. I haven't programmed anything in there, but you can drop your own sounds into these. Now let's go on to the effect button. This is, we're on the original effect. This is just the mic and we can change it. And I, I didn't hear a lot of changes when I messed around with this thing the first time, but let's push this. Okay, now we're on the pro setting. This should give us pro audio, according to Moano. Let's press it again. This is the pop setting. I imagine it gives a little more of a Madonna feel. Let's press it again. This is the MC setting. I've noticed that this gets a lot bassier and also adds a little boost to the overall volume, so I'm talking a tad bit lower. Now we're back to original. Now we've got the pitch key. We can hit the pitch key. Now we've got a female voice. I want to fly to the highest tree branch on the tree. Now we're on the male voice which actually sounds more like a creepy-ass phone call. I've got your dog. Pay me $2,000. Drop it off at the post office mailbox on the corner of Main and First, or the dog gets it. Hey! Now it's a baby voice. Who is going to use these? I don't know. Likely not me. Now this is a robot, robot, robot. Intergalactic, 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 intergalactic. Back to female. And... Well, there, once you hit the effect button, it gets out of that pitch mode. So to get out of the goofy voices, you've got to hit the effect and get yourself back to normal. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see. Let me get my phone connected here and we'll play some music into this thing. All right, we're going to go with an original by your boy here. So this is music coming through the Moano caster by way of Bluetooth. So that gives you an idea of what's going on there. Let's turn that off. All right, so there's an example of the Bluetooth. Let's see, side chain, I, I, you know what? I will probably just go over what the side chain and loop back button do when I sit down in front of this thing. There is also a touch pad right here. Let me go ahead and get my mic set back up to where I can just talk. I'm going to be at a little bit of a distance because this mic stand is so short, but we've also got this touch, touch pad thing here which I don't know if it changes the tone of your voice, but right now we're on A major, and if you keep tapping this, B flat major, B major, C major, D flat major, D major, E flat major, E major, F major, G flat major, G major, A flat major, Okay, now I want to turn this off. So now I'm going to... Okay, so I just toggled all the way back through to get back to the original. So I think you can change your voice a little bit with this electron thing. I don't know if that's the... There's supposedly an auto-tune feature. Let's, let's see if maybe once we hit this... Now I'm in A major. Does this do some kind of auto-tune? Whoa, 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 whoa. Back to B flat. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Okay, back to original on the Milano caster. I'm not real sure what that did. There's a lot of these effects that seem to be kind of uh, minimal, like like almost there for show. But I don't know because I'm hearing something in my headphones that you don't hear in the playback. Let's go ahead and turn off the denoise so you can hear what the denoise button has been doing this whole time. Okay, so now I hear a little bit of the room noise. I've got a heater on in the background. So you do have that denoise button that will take away a lot of the things that are going on in between your sentences when you're not talking, so on and so forth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we go. There's, there's a quick rundown of the Moano Caster light and what kind of features it has. I'll go over these two buttons here whenever I get back on the camera with my face in the picture, which is just the most exciting part. But let's go ahead and talk about this thing some more without having the camera right on it. Okay, folks, so welcome back. I've got a Behringer XM8500 plugged into the same cord that came with the Moano Caster Lite. That way you can see that you can use a dynamic microphone with this thing. I do have the gain uh, on that circular dial dialed up just about all the way to get a decent level out of this. But while I'm talking into the Behringer XM8500, let's go ahead and talk about those two buttons I didn't have information on for you before. The loopback mode. The user can control whether the background music be routed to the live stream or not when playing the accompaniment from the computer. So, okay, so yes, we got loopback feature through the USB-C. That, that's a welcome thing. You don't have to use an aux jack. We do have a mix minus through the USB-C, and that loopback button enables that, so that's good to know. The button beside it, side chain mode, when turning on this mode in the live stream, the podcast console will automatically lower the volume of the background music and highlight the voice of the human, or the robot if you use that robot voice, suitable for live chat scenes. The light will be on when the mode is on and off when the mode is off. That is some, that's some interesting, that last sentence, the light will be on when it's on, the light will be off when it's off. God dang, that's some crazy good information. So, let's talk about who the Moano Caster light is for. I would like to get my hands on the regular Moano Caster, but here's my thoughts. So, $99 for the Moano Caster light. Now, for all intents and purposes, this is a paid promotion from Moano. They did want me to test out the Moano Caster Lite, and I'm getting some other products from them, one of which I'm actually really super excited about. But who is this for? $99. You get a mic. You get everything you need to be up and running, doing interviews, doing everything. So if you are a beginner and you want to easily do these things, the Moano Caster Lite does fit the bill. Now, this is not professional level by any means. What's holding it back is, one, the monitoring. I do not hear accurately what's going on through the monitoring. I can hear myself, and it's latency-free, but there is almost a doubling effect like I talked about before. I can hear two of me in these headphones, and I don't know what to do to fix that. So that is a little bit of a drawback on this device. No XLR input. That's another drawback to the device. You cannot use uh, a condenser that's not like the electric style, minimal power needed condenser microphone because there's no phantom power on the board. So a dynamic microphone, you'll be okay. And I'll give it this. I don't hear a lot of noise from the preamps using this. I've got it cranked almost all the way up. It's not noisy, so that's a plus. So you should be able to use most dynamics, but you'll probably have to crank it up. So you do have that going for you. You can use different microphones. Just not a condenser. No 48 volts of phantom power and no XLR. That's that's going to be a, a death knell for some. For me, it's all it's also I you know I, I can't, I can't, you, me personally, I can't use this board because I've got more expensive, better boards, but it's not about me. It's about beginners with this. So 
if you want to bypass trying to figure out a multi-piece purchase so you buy a m audio you know solo one and a microphone you're trying to figure out how to do this and do that if you want to bypass all the professional level stuff then you could get the moano caster light and it does have all the inputs you need to do an interview and if you're fine with sticking with a basic array of microphones sure 99 dollars. this is for you but who's it really for it's for that person that also likes to use all the goofy intros and the buttons and play with the effects and change their voice to a baby and do those kind of things so if you're going to do like a comedy or satire or or just a goofy podcast or a goofy live stream this might be exactly what you have been looking for but for a professional level podcaster or streamer this is not going to be exactly what you're looking for but again it is another option for beginners if you just want to bypass all of the difficulties of learning about audio and you just care more about getting up and running and streaming and taking calls and using sound effects and using pitch changers and having eq on the board for the most basic of beginners this is a this is a solid ninety nine dollar purchase. I didn't think that the Moano microphone sounded too bad. I think it sounded okay. Uh, comes with a little stand. Again, you're getting everything you need for a hundred bucks. There's better options for a hundred dollars out there, but not if you just want to buy it and get it done and move forward. Again, most people that watch this channel, this is they're probably ahead of this board. Not saying that's because I got them ahead but they're probably ahead of this board. But somebody who's never started a podcast and you know you want goofy sound effects, you know you want to plug a smartphone in and have someone on Facebook Messenger and the voice coming right in, this could be for you. And and for $99, I don't hate the, the device itself. I think it can be fun and used for a literal beginner a literal beginner but if you plan on making this your long-term hobby and you want to make money you want to grow you want your podcast or your stream to be just exponentially large and you're going to work your butt off at it this is not the board for you this is for the true hobbyist that just wants to get up and running and have some fun if that's you if you want to get up and running and have some fun this board could be a lot of fun don't believe me then change your voice it can be so much fun giggity 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 oh my mail hey i'm a baby hey i'm a robot i'm a female there you go so i i just if you want to have fun like that which i don't because i you know i take everything a little more i want it to be a career not just a, a fun hobby but if you're a fun hobbyist and you want to use this for that you know 99 bucks and you're done you don't have to buy anything else that's the truth of the matter you don't have to buy anything else if you're happy with what you saw in this video then 99 bucks and you're done and you can have as much fun and stream as much as you want to and plug your phone in and have the video par portion of it on and just have a good time for me no for a professional or an intermediate no but i don't think that's who this is aimed at so most people watching the channel not going to be for you some people it will be for you because this you are the demographic here the blue yeti users that just see something and want to get up and running and have fun you know this is this is the next step for those blue yeti users who are like how do I do interviews? How do I do this? How do I do that? You could buy the Moano Caster Lite and just be done with it. So that's my recommendation. True beginners that just want to have a good time, not want to go professional, you don't want to get too serious about it, then this could be a really fun board for you. Otherwise, no. No. So Moano, thanks for sending me this. I'm looking forward to reviewing some more products. I do view them as an up-and-coming company that's trying to get their footing in the audio world, and I do think they're coming out with some interesting products. I thought someone should have came out with a competitor, a cheaper budget competitor to the uh, Roadcaster Pro long ago, 
But Moana's jumping all over these opportunities. While I don't think this board is perfect and I don't think it's for pros, it's an intriguing option for people that are not quite into audio and want to play around and have some fun. It, it's it's a fun option, I will say that, but it's not a professional level option. But Moano keeps bringing new products out, and they're trying, and I appreciate that. And there are some pros to this board. I mean, the fact that it is rechargeable, I'm not sure why it's rechargeable, because you got to plug it into a computer to run it through a doll anyways, unless you're doing a... a live event where you're not recording you're just talking to people in an audience uh, but you've got you know you've got a voice meter on this thing there there are some things the eq on it is a welcome addition so there's things they got right there's things they got wrong but if you're a beginner you're not going to notice what they got wrong i guess i've talked myself in circles at this point thanks for watching the moano caster light 99 dollars link down below again don't ridicule me because I, I have good things to say about a board that's not for professionals. This channel's not for professionals. I'm not a professional. I'm striving to be. And this is not what's this is not what's gonna get me there, but this is what's gonna get some people where they wanna go for ninety nine bucks. So thanks, Moano. Thanks for watching. Bark is out. You guys have a great and wonderful weekend or week because this will probably come out on Monday. Peace out.